the armed forces of the Kingdom of Denmark, known as the Defence, is charged with the defence of Denmark and its overseas territories, Greenland and the Faroe Islands. Queen Margrethe II is the de jure commander-in-chief per the Danish constitution. However according to the Danish defence law the Minister of Defence serves as the commander of the Danish defence and the Danish Home Guard. De facto the Danish cabinet is the commanding authority of the defence, though it cannot mobilise the armed forces for purposes that are not strictly defence-oriented, without the consent of Parliament. Denmark also has a concept of total defence, purpose and task. The purpose and task of the armed forces of Denmark is defined in Law No. 122 of February 27, 2001 and in force since March 1, 2001. It defines three purposes and six tasks. Its primary purpose is to prevent conflicts and war, preserve the sovereignty of Denmark, secure the continuing existence and integrity of the independent Kingdom of Denmark and further a peaceful development in the world with respect to human rights. Its primary tasks are NATO participation in accordance with the strategy of the alliance, detect and repel any sovereignty violation of Danish territory. Defence cooperation with non-NATO members, especially Central and East European countries, international missions in the area of conflict prevention, crises control, humanitarian, peacemaking, peacekeeping, participation in total defence in cooperation with civilian resources and finally maintenance of a sizable force to execute these tasks at all times. Defence budget since 1988, Danish defence budgets and security policy have been set by multi-year agreements supported by a wide parliamentary majority including government and opposition parties. However, public opposition to increases in defence spending during a period when economic constraints require reduced spending for social welfare has created differences among the political parties regarding a broadly acceptable level of new defence expenditure. The latest defence agreement was signed June 10, 2004, and calls for a significant reconstruction of the entire military. From now about 60% support structure and 40% combat operational capability, it is to be 40% support structure and 60% combat operational capability, i.e., more combat soldiers and fewer paper soldiers. The reaction speed is increased. With an entire brigade on standby readiness, the military retains the capability to continually deploy 2,000 soldiers in international service or 5,000 over a short time span. The standard mandatory conscription is modified. Generally this means fewer conscripts, less service time for them and only those who choose so will continue into the reaction force system. Expenditures in 2006 The Danish military budget was the fifth largest single portion of the Danish government's total budget, significantly less than that of the Ministry of Social Affairs, Ministry of Employment. Ministry of the Interior and Health and Ministry of Education and only slightly larger than that of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. This list lists the complete expenditures for the Danish Ministry of Defence. The Danish Defence Force, counting all branches and all departments, itself has an income equal to about 1-5% to of its expenditures. Depending on the year, they are not deducted in this listing. Approximately 95% of the budget goes directly to running the Danish military including the Home Guard. Depending on year, 50-53% to accounts for payment to personnel, roughly 14-21% to on acquiring new material, 2-8% to for larger ships, building projects or infrastructure and about 24-27% to on other items, including purchasing of goods, renting, maintenance, services and taxes. The remaining 5% is special expenditures to NATO, branch shared expenditures, special services and civil structures, herein including running the Danish Maritime Safety Administration. Danish National Rescue Preparedness and the Administration of Conscientious Objectors. 
because Denmark has a small and highly specialized military industry. The vast majority of the Danish defense's equipment is imported from NATO and the Nordic countries. Branches Royal Danish Army, Herren, Royal Danish Navy, Sovinet, Royal Danish Air Force, Flyvervabnet, Danish Home Guard, Gemavayanet, Structure, Ministry of Defense, Forsvars Ministeriet, Defense Command, Bensfiels Force Vars Commando, Operations Staff, Operation Stab in Coordination and Development Staff. Coordinations or Gudviklings Staben, Army Staff, Herstaben, Naval Staff, Marinesterben, Air Staff, Flyverstaben, Arctic Command, Arctic Commando, Special Operations Command, Special Operations Command own, Royal Danish Defense College, Force Vars Arkadamiet, Danish Armed Forces Health Services. Forsvaret Sundhedsk Gernester, Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, Forsvars Ministeriet Materielog and Kobstilser, Danish Defense IT Agency, Forsvaret Skonchen Files Information Chernester, Danish Defense Personnel Organization, Forsvars Ministeriet Personnel Estilser, Danish Defense Estates and Infrastructure Organization. Forsvars Ministeriets Agendum Style Sir, Home Guard Command, Gem of Aeons Command Own, Defense Intelligence Service, Forsvarets Efterutningst Genester, Judge Advocate Corps, Forsvarets Auditor Corps, Defense Financial Management Agency, Forsvars Ministeriets Renskab Style Sir, Defense Internal Auditor, Forsvarets Intern Revision, Emergency Management Agency, Birdscape Stileson, Administration of Conscientious Objector, Militern Agter Administration and Special Forces, Jagerkorp Set, Ground-Based Infiltration Unit, Fromanskorp Set, Amphibious Attack and Infiltration Unit, Slady Patrol Gen Sirius, Arctic Dog Sled Unit Patrolling the Eastern Border of Greenland, Current Deployments, Current deployment of Danish forces, approx. 30 Home Guard soldiers in Kosovo participating in NATO's Kosovo force, guarding the French camp Novo Selo, approx. 168 soldiers attached to NATO's standing NRF Maritime Group 1. 7 F-16 fighter aircraft stationed in Kuwait to participate in US-led operations over Iraq. Conscription. Technically all Danish 18-year-old males are conscripts. Due to the large number of volunteers, 96 to 99 percent of the number required in the past three years, the number of men actually called up is relatively low. There were additionally 567 female volunteers in 2010 who passed training on conscript-like conditions. Conscripts in the Danish defense generally serve four months, except conscripts of the Guard whose are Regiment Mounted Squadron serve 12 months. Conscripts aboard the Royal Yacht Danabrog serve nine months. Conscripts in the Danish Emergency Management Agency serve nine months. Conscripts in the Royal Lifeguard serve eight months. There has been a right of conscientious objection since 1917.